Good afternoon and welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm your host, Pete Gruber, and today we'd like to take you along for a ride as we look at some groundbreaking and disruptive technologies. The Waymo One Autonomous Driver. This may take over the future of driving, so let's dive into this technology and find out why this autonomous revelation is leading the way for the entire industry. As always, we want to provide you with a brief history so we can all better understand how this technology came to be. Waymo started back in early 2009 at a secretive Google X lab, which launched under the leadership of Sebastian Thrun. Before the Waymo project, Thrun and his team of engineers were hired by Google in 2007 to help develop their Street View technology. In a nutshell, this team went on to develop accurate roadmaps using satellite and street view technology, laying out the groundwork for the first ever commercial self-driving car program. In 2008, the co-founder of Waymo, Anthony Lewandowski, modified a Toyota Prius named Prebot using LiDAR technology, which became the first self-driving car used on public roads. He coined them as pizza delivery vehicles, and they needed to be driven with police escorts. This was now the beginning of a new era, and after years of undetected road testing under the alias Project Chauffeur, Google finally developed a new prototype of its driverless car called the Firefly in 2014, which was designed for experimentation and learning, not mass production. At that time, this two-seater car had no steering wheel or pedals with a top speed of only 25 miles per hour and was not ready for release onto major roadways in small towns and cities. A year later, however, it came time for Google to test out a completely driverless operation on public roads using Firefly, and it was a huge success. A milestone was recognized at this time because their vehicles had also collected over 1 million miles of data. In 2016, the project was renamed Waymo and became a new startup company. The name was derived from their mission, a new way forward in mobility. Waymo began deploying their autonomous vans here in Chandler, Arizona in late 2017. Around this time, they even developed their own version of LiDAR technology, which drastically reduced the costs on their hardware and self-driving technology. The vehicles were changed to Chrysler Pacifica minivans due to more interior space being a practical family car. These vans had plenty of space for folks traveling out of town, going to the airport, larger families with two or more kids. Today we're going to be scheduling a Waymo ride so you can see this live and get a sense for its look and feel. According to their site, their cars are the most experienced drivers in the world, having logged over 20 million miles in real world driving. You might be wondering, how does this technology work? Over the last decade, Waymo has been developing a device in their cars with built-in sensors designed to work together to provide the Waymo driver a complete view of the world around it. Depending on the time of day and distance of objects, the driver system is designed to see what's happening at all times. They combine radar or radio waves, cameras, and LiDAR technology around their vehicles to accomplish this. LiDAR, by the way, is a technology that identifies ranges of things in space using lasers, and the time it takes for the reflected light to hit the receiver again. This concept was similar to the way sonar worked back in the day, using sound waves to develop a visual space of objects and their distance underwater. Waymo officials said that the cars are able to detect objects, either still or in motion from up to 300 meters away. Today, they operate proudly in over 13 states and have driven in thousands of crash avoidance tests to make an even safer experience for their customers. All of this opens up the possibility to many advantages in the auto industry by eliminating some of the most common issues involved with human error, 
including distracted driving and operating under the influence. As we've discussed in previous episodes with Tesla's new full self-driving autopilot features, this begs the question on how these two emerging technologies will help further our advancement towards a complete overturn to AI and autonomous vehicles on the roadways. Let us know your thoughts about Waymo, and if you're living here in Phoenix metro area, check out Waymo on their website or download the app to schedule your first ride. As always, we are here to provide you with meaningful and provocative content that helps shape our world to a more sustainable future. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Patreon. We will see you next time. Thank you.